Step four, update on the earth sheltered greenhouse. And uh, my two dogs are liking the pea gravel right now. It's cool. All right, we're in a uh, the step where we're installing the ICFs. And uh, these are foam blocks, one foot wide with, uh, you can see the, the support members. Uh, I'll be putting rebar, one foot center vertical and one foot horizontal. Uh, right now I'm in the process of doing layout. Uh, just quick note, uh, I've got footings on the ground. They're about 20 inches wide, 10, 11 inches deep. And, uh, but I went ahead and the inside, you see the pea gravel under that is an underlayment and under that underlayment uh, fiber is uh, we've got hardware cloth. hardware cloth and it's a metal real tight kind of a mesh uh, and that's to allow everything to breathe uh, in these root cellars uh, you don't want uh, any type of condensation or, or any animals or gophers or moles or anything coming up from underneath so so we've got it sealed pretty good that way, but it is breathable. If we get moisture, it'll it'll go on down out. So uh, I'm getting ready to drill in uh, rebar, one foot center, all the way around the ICFs. As you can see, I've done layout right now, and I'll be uh, drilling that and, and driving rebar in. We'll go ahead and once that's in, stack the blocks all the way, and then I'll have uh, rebar horizontally on every every uh, layer which is a uh, one foot up so and we're going eight foot up so we've got a ways to go and then i'll uh, get the walls complete and then i'll put uh, eight foot rebar down on one foot centers so you can kind of see all the different uh, icf stacked up here so eventually they'll be uh, set up on this uh, root cellar which is inside dimensions eight foot wide and 12 foot long so we've settled on that and then right here you can see i'm putting a uh, 3-0 door here it'll be an insulated door i'll go ahead and install a uh, framing buck to hold uh, cement and everything when we start that pour so and when you put these blocks together it's like putting together legos yes yeah and you can cut them whatever measurements you need uh, on one inch increments so they're, they're pretty nice these are uh, called super form blocks uh, we got them from a guy here they're actually out of uh, Canada but the guy's a rep here in, in Montana for us and he's uh, been real good so also talk about staggering the seams yeah I'm staggering the seams on each one of these you we've don't got want the seams to be all in a straight line it adds more integrity if you stagger exactly stagger the seams and you can see these corners they're they're left and right handed so we're staggering those also each layer as we go up each so and you can just see my my ruler uh straight edge right there that's how i'm doing the layout uh when i did uh, marked for rebar and i'm putting half inch rebar in uh everything so we'll uh, show as this progresses up and um, i'll turn this back over to my wife <laughs> Oh, big dog has spoken. Little dog's laying inside the the cold room. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.